1926, Brno, Czechoslovakia. Dina Gottliebova was born here. And at age three, began drawing on paper sacks that her grandmother kept. But I want to draw just one more, just one more. As she grew up, something else was drawing its way across Europe. The Germans had ignited World War II and simultaneously launched the genocide that would become known as the Holocaust. In January 1942, while Dina was an art student in Prague, her mother was ordered to report to Theresienstadt. Alles klar, alles kommen Sie hier, alles klar. You leave tonight. Dina would not let her go alone. Theresienstadt was a Nazi transit camp used to keep Jews temporarily before they were sent to death camps. After more than two years at Theresienstadt, her mother was shipped to Auschwitz with 4,400 other Jews, including Dina. They arrived in the fall of 1943 to the calm, cruel face of the angel of death. Keep him alive for now. Dr. Joseph Mengele. With a flick of his wrist, their fate would be decided. To the left, straight to the gas chambers. To the right, the slave labor battalions, or worse, his laboratory. Mengele performed unimaginable experiments on prisoners. How much pain could they endure without anesthesia? How would they react when injected with a variety of substances? Dina, there's something I'd like you to draw. Freddy was the unofficial leader of one of the children's barracks at Auschwitz. Dina knew him from Czechoslovakia. Dina, the children wait until the Germans come for them. After they are taken away, no one ever comes back. Freddy asked her to paint a mural to cheer up the children. But he reminded her that... If the Germans catch you, they might kill you. Freddy, it doesn't matter. I'll take my chances. She knew exactly what to paint. A scene of Snow White looking out over the Swiss countryside. Snow White was the last movie that Dina had seen before she was sent to Auschwitz. She loved the animation so much that the characters were still sharp in her mind. Then, on February 22nd, 1944... Dina Gottliebova, come with us. Her worst nightmare came true. The angel of death himself, Dr. Mengele, had called for her services. I am dissatisfied with my photographic equipment, Dina Gottliebova. Some of the subjects of Mengele's experiments were gypsies. It does not quite capture the skin tones of these gypsies. Am I to be killed? If you paint, you will live. My mother is a prisoner here. If you spare her, I will paint. Otherwise, I will kill myself. I will kill myself because I cannot paint a soul if my mother dies. And if I agree? Then I will paint this world. And so it went. 
The others from that transport were gassed. Her mother was not. On some occasions, SS soldiers would bring photos of their families and order her to paint portraits for them. On others, she painted the gruesome scenes from Mengele's experiments. And on one afternoon, they brought her a human heart. That heart came from someone just like Dina. With Soviet troops approaching, the Germans fled Auschwitz and forced the Jewish prisoners to undertake a death march from the camp. They were liberated in 1945. In establishing a civilian government in the areas from which the Germans had been driven. After the war, Dina met an American cartoon animator, Art Babbitt. By coincidence, he had worked on Snow White. She fell in love with that man. As good stories go, they married and moved to Hollywood. For 17 years, the girl who was forced to paint portraits of evil was now a woman who painted to make children laugh. She worked as an assistant animator for J. Ward Productions, Warner Brothers, and MGM. The nightmares had turned to dreams, but a piece of her heart was still in Auschwitz. Ohne sonst war nie. Dina, 1944. In 1973, the museum identified Dina as the artist and invited her to come to Poland to meet with museum officials. Mrs. Babbitt, I'm sorry, but the museum's position is that the educational value of these paintings outweighs your right of ownership. We can refer you to our legal counsel. I'm sorry. Dina Babbitt is now 86 years old, and she hopes that one day these portraits will be returned to her so that her heart and soul may finally be complete. But for now, she waits. <laughs> <laughs> 